Hello, everyone, and welcome to Out of the Spirit Box with Avani, Heather, and Vale. In this podcast, we talk about all things paranormal and true crime related while desperately attempting to stay on topic. If that sounds like fun to you, then take a seat, turn the lights on, and join us for this episode of Oosp. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you a story, and it's encrypted, so like right off the top, Ooh. just like suspend disbelief, because you know how all these things are like really, really super bullshit? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like Mothman? <laughs> like Mothman, which we should talk about, because I love Mothman. That is a fucking crazy story, and it's like, I'm sure it's bullshit, but I have a Mothman onesie. I, I love, love Mothman. Cryptids. I love cryptids in general, so I'm very excited for this. <laughs> like, and this one's a super common one, but it's, okay, so it's the Chupacabra. Mm -hmm. Chupacabra. Mm -hmm. An American. <laughs> that there's spits water all over her keyboard. <laughs> what do you know? about Mr. Goat Sucker. Off the top, I mean, I've, I've obviously I've heard like a billion times about the Chupacabra, but um, mm -hmm. it's kind of one of... It's one of those things where I've heard about it and went, that's neat, and didn't remember it because it's not a real thing, you know? That's kind of how I approach cryptids in general. I'm like, that's a really cool story, and then I move on. Uh, but... <laughs> But it's like an amalgamation of like a couple animals, one to two, I mean two to three animals, right? It's got like something like that. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's all I remember. Avani? <laughs> uh, so the first time I was exposed to the idea that Chupacabra was an episode of Bones. Oh, uh, really? Oh, yeah. There yeah. was an episode of Bones with the Chupacabra? Yeah, there yeah. was. Yeah. Uh, and that was that was pretty much like I looked up what it was. Where's it come from? Uh, don't look it up. Uh, I'm gonna guess, and I'm just gonna make this wild guess because you brought it up, Puerto Rico. <laughs> Thank you. Because <laughs> everyone and everywhere thinks it's Mexican. It's not. I it, wonder why. <laughs> because <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they even made a, like a Netflix movie about like I think it was called Chupa, which is a really horrible m title for a movie because Chupa means suck. <laughs> so the title of the movie was Suck, and it was about a Mexican boy and his chupacabra. Excellent. <laughs> Good content. <laughs> I didn't watch it, and I was like, "Well, this is bullshit." <laughs> I also okay. So, let's start with the name. Chupa, suck, cabra, goat. Goat sucker. Goat sucker. <laughs> goat sucker. That's the name. We're very inventive. Yes. Actually, no, it's had three names in the history of Puerto Rico, and I'm gonna get to that. <laughs> but like, okay, so I thought this was like a really old fucking timey story because I think I was like six or seven and I was staying at my uncle's house with my cousins and he started mm -hmm. telling us the scary story about the chupacabra and how you can't go out at night and if you see red eyes, that means the chupacabra is looking at you and it's gonna get you. The thing about this that sticks in my mind is, so he's telling us this story and he's like, this is some campfire tales. We were all getting the shit scared out of us and then all of a sudden we hear tapping on the window and then a face. So my dad was just coming home from work, had no idea my uncle was trying to scare us, and perfectly led up to frightening my cousin so hard he started crying and ran up the stairs and we never saw him again. Fantastic. So, <laughs> it has a special place in my heart. <laughs> Let me scroll down to all the comments I wrote. Oh, first <laughs> comment is everyone thinks it's fucking Mexican, but it didn't even it's not Mexican. It like so it started in Puerto Rico and when they started calling it the Chupacabra, I think the next place to start citing it was Mex it was Texas and then Mexico. <laughs> so the US got goat sucker first. But they were Mexicans in Texas. So mm. Yeah. 
Chupacabra is definitely not a name that uh, white people would come up with. So, <laughs> so they it probably is exactly thought... <laughs> a name white people would come up with if it was translated, because oh, goat yeah. sucker. I mean, your biggest cryptid is a uh, Bigfoot. That's a very <laughs> offensive name. <laughs> Yes, yes. The uh, the uh, English version. <laughs> the English version definitely fits within the realm of white people. But <laughs> we're the problem. Yeah. We so are, like when know. I think about it and it was like we really called it goat sucker, I'm like, well, people aren't that inventive when they come up with names. <laughs> nope. <laughs> So our friend Mr. Goat Sucker is characterized by the ability to kill animals and suck their bud blood clean without spilling any of the blood. Most of the victims of a chupacabra are found mainly intact. Very few are like mutilated and then just with a puncture wound. Before the so term- So what I'm hearing is vampire. Yes, and that's exactly where I'm going. So before the term chupacabra was coined, so like it was a uh, like later on that it started getting called the chupacabra, but in 1975 there were the reports of El Vampiro de Moca, which is the vampire of Moca. Moca being a city in Puerto Rico. Oh wow! I already read all that. I'm so good at this. <laughs> so a man went out to go feed his uh, his goats, and he found the goats just dead in like a line just a line of dead goats with puncture wounds on their necks and just drained of blood like there's no blood on the grass there's no blood in the cage there's no blood in the field just a dead goat with a so, hole in its neck am i supposed to assume by the fact that they were in a line that the chupacabra uh is ocd <laughs> It was like, get him in order, one after another. Come on, come on. Come on. Single file, let's go. Single file. <laughs> they weren't in a perfect line. They were just kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> they were sprinkled dead corpses in the grass. I like the other version better. <laughs> Gotta have organized cryptids. <laughs> the chupacabra was like, one after another, goats, line up, line up. We don't got all day. We don't got all night. Someone's gonna come out here. Right. <laughs> If you're gonna do mass goat murder, you've gotta do it organized. Yeah, it's gotta be efficient. You gotta get it done before the sun comes up. <laughs> we are on a timetable here. We have a quota to meet. <laughs> so, like, then they started reporting about, like, a vampire was killing some goats. And a few days later, in my town of Aguadilla, on a Sunday, a guy goes out to feed his pigs, and his pigs are also found just splayed out dead with a puncture wound on the, their neck and just completely no blood the obvious next step in this is to call it the goat sucker because <laughs> we don't call it the goat sucker the for another few next, years <laughs> I was thinking the obvious next step is bacon <laughs> <laughs> they were little piggies they were like, they were like oh they were piglets they were like no. piglets they were little piggies Oh, it's oh, not cute anymore. No. no. What, was it the goat sucker was like, I want to try something new. I want to try uh, pork. I want that fresh choking. blood. <laughs> so he went and ate little piggies. So the one of the little piggies was missing an ear, but also had the little thing on his neck. Like a hole on its neck. And poor little piggy. They actually, well, like, they were so worried about this, they sent the, the little pigs... To like um to a forensic scientist. And this was in 1975. What the fuck were they gonna find? Yeah, right. <laughs> then there was a man who had really like um so in a lot of these towns there's like um like farms. And I mean, in Aguadilla, where I live, in front of my mom's, or my mom's, my grandma's house, there's like a, like a dairy farm or something. So like, there are certain random places that will have a lot of animals. And like, the next thing that was attacked was a big ass fucking cow. 
Just one? Two big ass fucking cows. Ah, two. Were they in the what? line? <laughs> line them up. Line them up. Come on, Bessie. I feel like the chupacabra just really is trying to sample all the meats. Yeah. Yeah. Arby. He likes it, because Arby's then was later, behind it. Arby's. <laughs> Arby's was behind the chupacabra. The cows were too big for it to kill. So one of the cows was drained almost like so much so that the cow was like on life and death on the brink. And the mm-hmm. other cow was just like it had a bite on it and the cow apparently fought it off. So the first Zombie cow cows. almost died and the second cow was like, get the fuck off, bitch. <laughs> they had a... Uh... The cow's owner inspected the wounds and measured a half inch deep bite mark on their necks. Point out that, uh... <laughs> That is not a half inch deep. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's a little closer. I didn't even realize I was putting. I was doing this. <laughs> I was like, man, that's a big half inch. <laughs> there we go, half inch. Using, I didn't even using, realize I was using my hands because I move around a lot. You're using a uh, white man measurements right now. <laughs> this is six inches. Okay, the next part of the story is like when someone finally saw the chupacabra, which is kind of hilarious. This dude, fucking dumb as rocks. So it's March of 1975, and some guy is walking home from his job in construction, and it's like the middle of the night, it's full moon out, and he doesn't have like a lantern or anything because the moon is so bright that he can just follow the road and get himself home. And he sees a creature at the edge of the fucking street where it's like gray and hunched down and it has like feathers, a thick neck, and it's like this like larger than a goose, but smaller than a cow, which is I don't know why that's description. Hip-gris. And he says like yeah. <laughs> about 50 pounds. So this man decides to start throwing rocks at it. So from the other side of the street, the dude just starts pelting it with rocks. It gets mad and starts chasing him. So the yeah. man jumps <laughs> off the side of the road and jumps into some bushes. And then he tries to go like through the forest to try and dodge it to get to his house. So he runs home, running bush from bush to run away from the chupacabra that is now chasing him because he was throwing rocks at it. What I'm hearing is men in all cultures are dumb. Yeah, why why is your first thought when you see something that you've never seen before, first of all, how did he get about 50 pounds if he was all the way at the edge of the street, whatever? But why is your first instinct to throw things at it? (laughs) Well, I mean, if he could throw things at it, I think he could see how big it was. He was like, oh, if I throw this rock at it. Hold on. Between a goose and a cow is not a small... No, it's smaller than a cow about the size of, like, a a big goose. Uh, Ah, it's the big goose. Got it. Okay. It's not like... It's one of those, like, um... I forget what they're called. Mama gooses. Big-ass fucking gooses. (laughs) Gotcha. (laughs) And the height of a goose, not, like the size of its body, and then the neck. Like, from the neck all the way down. <laughs> oh, shit. Size of a goose. And this man's like, let me throw some rocks at it. I ain't never seen this shit before. I'm gonna yeah. throw some rocks. Let me be violent at it. <laughs> do, 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 do. So at this point, a lot of animals have been dying. So... They decide, let's form a posse. Clearly. So, they form a posse of, like, more than 20 dudes armed with guns trying to hunt down this fucking chupacabra. Well, at this point, it's just a vampiro, which, oh, he's just a vampire. It's not called a chupacabra yet. 
It doesn't get the name, I think, for like 20 more years. <laughs> right now, it's just called the Vampire. It's called the Vampire of Mocha. The Vampiro de Mocha. Because it biting and sucking blood like a legendary vampire. Except right. for it's only doing it to animals. So they start like hunting for anything that they can like count as this vampire. They're like they find some like big ass snakes. They're like, this snake might be the fucking vampire. Except for snakes don't suck blood. <laughs> hey, what's the shadow in the distance? Better shoot it. <laughs> and they're like Wild dogs! This is definitely the vampire. Better dogs. shoot it. <laughs> Just. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. So how many? Wait, how many puncture wounds were there? Two. Just the two, I think, or just one big hole. You think somebody like, just like stuck a hose in there and sucked, and then <laughs> thinking a straw? But yeah, a hose. They're just going out into the fucking fucking farms, getting a straw and just sucking the blood out. Yeah, you know, just like a, a reverse siphon. Well, at some point, there there was, and obviously this is off the top of my head, and I kind of just read it once and moved on with my life, but aren't there occasionally people who want to be vampires and they, like, try to obtain fresh blood to drink? Like, I think I saw it on a, um, on a show once that there was this kid that, uh, broke into an old woman's house and literally drained her blood so that he could drink it and become a vampire. Um, I guess that is a thing. Yeah, right. But you so, know what the complexion of those people are? <laughs> I mean, we all know that we're the problem. We know that. <laughs> we said it earlier. <laughs> Could have been Taurus, like, you know, like... You're you're talking about some people in the mountains. Like, no, it's not, a, Mocha is not, like, a city. It's, like, up in the forest. Like, it's not in the so, forest, but it's not, it's like, uh, like, sparse houses, it's not. Is this, like, the West Virginia, Puerto Rico that we're talking about? <laughs> I don't know enough about West Virginia to tell you. Uh, dear, 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 dear. <laughs> I thought that was further south. <laughs> Alabama, no. West Virginia, same yeah. thing, really. Okay, okay. 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 If you would have said yeah. Alabama, then yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because well, Mocha has the, like, the highest amount everything. of cousins marrying each other. Yeah. It especially yeah. explains the let's shoot it mentality. <laughs> Let's throw fucking rocks at it and have it chase me down the fucking street like a right. jackass. Let me jump from bush to bush. That'll keep me safe. <laughs> like, when I read in the newspaper, this man literally said, I jumped from bush to bush. I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I this just... is written in black and white. <laughs> <laughs> a grown ass man is like, let me throw rocks at a creature I don't know. It's chasing me. Let me jump from bush to bush. Like... <laughs> Dude. Did he like? Did he think he was gonna like be Jesus on top of the bushes and just like walk like, on them and get away? No, the bushes like, are clearly nature's invisibility cloak. <laughs> the bushes oh, are just gonna so like defend him. <laughs> going for what if they were sticker bushes? Like what? If <laughs> oh, oh, these will protect me. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he thought. That a vampire was gonna suck his blood? He'll take that out. <laughs> In his mind, he was getting chased down by a vampire. He was like, fuck it, I don't <laughs> care what happens. <laughs> oh, shit. <clears throat> so, late 1990s, 20 years later, the, this is where the Chupacabra starts getting its name. This man called David Negron goes outside to check on his goats, and he finds them dead. In a line. <laughs> Not in a line. <laughs> I'm sorry, Heather. I know. He Cabra them... is no longer OCD. He's no he longer OCD. He, he found his goats dead, and so he calls the police. And the police 
bring an investigation. So they start like investigating his lot. Like they don't see footprints. They don't see like animal prints other than the fucking goats. They don't see like, uh, I don't fucking know what you'd see when you're looking for something that's not real. Clearly, clearly we have a break in pattern here. The goats weren't in a line. This man killed his own <laughs> goats. I'm just saying. <laughs> and so, like, this guy's the first guy to be like, um, so, like, he reports this, it shows up on the news, and some comedian starts making jokes about it, and it was like, oh, it's the goat sucker, it's the goat sucker. And then that stuck. So a comedian gave it the name Chupacabra. That sounds... That's, that tracks. that's on track, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so tracks. this man says that he saw this like black hairy creature with large red eyes and a crest atop its head. No so feathers. Very alien y looking thing. Later in that day, the Civil Defense Agency comes to investigate, and all they find is two puncture wounds on the back of the goat's neck, and the goat being entirely drained of blood. The story catches like wildfire, and the name Chupacabra is coined by a fucking dumbass comedian being like, oh, <laughs> oh, goat sucker. That is weird that they are completely drained of blood. I will, I will give it that. <laughs> but I also wonder how they determined that, that it was completely drained of blood. <laughs> like, take that corpse and do it? this and nothing comes yeah. out. <laughs> like, you just flip that goat upside down, ain't nothing come out? I think it's drained of blood. Yeah, right? Like, <laughs> clearly, there are two puncture runes. I don't see any blood. It must all be gone. <laughs> I, they actually I did autopsies be... on the, the, the corpses. Like, gotcha, they actually yeah. did forensic studies because they were like, what the fuck killed it? And what the fuck killed it was that they had no blood. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> that will kill yeah, you. I, I mean, that will kill you. Yeah. A uh, conspiracy theory is uh, all these farmers just wanted to collect on insurance money on their animals. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there there's some great conspiracy theories at the end because we're going to get into aliens, we're going to get into fucking testing, like uh fucking scientific testing and some good shit. So, okay, so I have some quotes by some uh, of the the people who what's it called witnesses. Yeah, let's hear it. Let's hear the witness testimonies. Yes. <laughs> the wit. Okay. This like. These people are some just grade A Alabama. <laughs> Fucking. I love it. It was like when it moved, I could see something on the top of its head that looked like a crest. And as the crest moved, it started making a buzzing sound. Uh huh. And- another lady said, I could see that it had three fingers. And on those three fingers were three, like, each finger had its own very long claw. So now we have a creepy, like, mid sized animal punched, three fingers, three claws, and a crest going down its back. Which actually, I found it interesting the thing about the buzzing. Because this was in, like, a later news report, but from the news reports from 1975, there was a doctor that was closing up his clinic, and he heard, like, a buzzing sound um, run by his window. Um, And he... It was happening at the same time that the vampire attacks were happening. And he had reported it to the news that he had heard a, a, like, buzzing as something was going through um, his yard. So he locked up his clinic and just was like, well, we're all staying here tonight. So are, are we talking about, with with buzzing, are we talking about like a bee buzzing or a cicada noise or like electrical buzzing? That's what I, I like. Think a dragonfly noise. Yeah. One of the guys like described the, like he said buzzing, but he said it in a way that sounded like, um, like static. Like electrical static. I don't fucking know. Like like the snow on a TV. <laughs> he it he they were not all they said was 
Um, is that actually the right actual definition? Let me look up the translation. I have Google image search Chupacabra, and the things I am seeing are amazing. Oh yeah, um, I was going to show you images at the end. But mostly I'm getting, uh, especially with the animated versions, Displacer Beast vibes. Placer beast. I Do you that, remember Mittens? I do remember Mittens. Mittens was a displacer beast. I, I have no idea what we're talking about. I uh opened Google to also Google images and then everything froze, so I am not Googling images. <laughs> I had images, let me see. I was going to put them in the drive so that you could just see the images that I was going to show you guys. But I had forgotten about it. Don't you I didn't want you guys to see the creature yet. I wanted it to be you after the description. You seem to think we look at the drive regularly. <laughs> oh no, I was going to tell you to open the drive. Now. Oh, okay. But I forgot. Ew. There we go. All there. Okay, where was I? The buzzing. Okay, so like he says zumbido, which is buzz, but he doesn't describe what the zumbido is. What the mm -hmm. buzz sounds like. So I don't know if it was like a buzz of of like a bee or a buzz like like it that's does. see, that's poor reporting, right? They should have asked for more clarity. <laughs> like I need more description. No, like it was it that was actually like they um it was um, in TV. It was news on TV. Yeah, they're like uh, describe the thing, and he was like, "Oh, it had it when it was going by. When its crest moved, it made a buzzing sound." <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to tell you about sure. that. <laughs> but then, like when they went back and read the news reports from the from the the newspaper, they twenty years earlier. Some guy had reported that he had heard some buzzing by his house, and they connected that buzzing of some creature running past his house to the buzzing of the Chupacabra. And that was years after the report, you said? Yeah, it was like 20 years later. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, like, in, in 1970, they... they Saw, they saw some type of thing run by and they heard like a buzzing and then in 1990 some guy was like oh when this thing moved by when this thing was like stalking when the crest moved there was buzzing so they correlated the two to being the same thing mm -hmm. do, 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 do. over 100 animals I think it was 150 animals were killed in total and like two years in a two year span all the animals were found to have two puncture marks of perfect circles some of these wounds were right on the brain stem or to the neck so the reason the brain stem is important is because the animals didn't like thrash so if you you stab an animal in the brainstem, animal's dead. We're done. We don't have to work anymore. We just suck the blood. So, that was interesting. I think, like, a hundred rabbits were killed in a city of Canovanas, which is important location-wise, because some of the theories are going to be from that side of the island. So, all of the earlier reports were from the west side. Some mountainous regions and some coastal regions. When the hundreds of rabbits were killed, it was from the, the east side of the island, where is the, the National Rainforest of Puerto Rico, El Junque, which is a huge, super, like, mega fucking rainforest, uh, which has its own little histories and stories, which I'll get to at the end. Were so the rabbits 
the rabbits. In relation in relation to the events happening on the other side. Um, when did those get discovered? I do not have a timeline. Because it does okay. not have a timeline. They just say like during the the attacks overall, slowly like different cities were also being affected, and then there was a huge report of in that town all those rabbits being killed. Gotcha. Okay. But then we jump into 2018 and boy was this fun. It's fun because I was there for this and it was fucking hilarious. Like the most recent Chupacabra attacks were in 2018 but since like people don't really call it the Chupacabra all that often they just, like call it different things like the first one was vampire the second time it was chupacabra and now this time it's called a gargoyle something that already exists <laughs> because it slightly changed its shape now oh interesting <laughs> oh shit i didn't where's the no there's a picture for it there's a hilarious fucking... A guy did a drawing of it on his phone. Oh. Uh, the, oh, the... I saw that in the drive, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, 2018 appears the gargoyle of Barceloneta. Barceloneta, another town, um, which is just Barcelona, small Barcelona, which Barcelona is a city in Spain. So I was still living there. I didn't move. I think I moved the next year from Puerto Rico. But boy, was the meme culture lit on this fucking gargoyle. It was hilarious. <laughs> there were fucking reggaeton songs about the gargoyle. It, it was absolutely amazing. I loved every second of it. <laughs> but so like in 2018, they find a bunch of dead chickens in their cage and some like other livestock and mostly chickens and the pictures of the chickens like the um the police just threw all the chickens in a pile I got <laughs> like I have a picture of it too like they really just took all the chickens and then just threw them in a pile and they're like look dead chicken also dead chicken look at this dead chicken <laughs> They're like, um, they're trying to like count all the dead chickens in one yeah. spot. And all the dead chickens had no blood. You know, like the previous attacks. Whatever the fuck it was, was sucking out blood again. So, um, this shit was funny because I remember like how ridiculous it was on seeing this shit on the news mm -hmm. and how the guys were like, Oh, anyone who has a gun license, come down to Barceloneta because we're gonna hunt this gargoyle. We're gonna get this gargoyle. It's not gonna eat another one of our chickens. Think okay. <laughs> it's just it doesn't sound like a good idea to me. <laughs> oh no, I'm surprised no one got shot. <laughs> yeah, right. Because like that's actually impressive. Because in, like, the 1800s, there was a ghost running around um, the UK, and some guy shot the ghost, and it was another dude in a white sheet, and he killed him. Uh, yeah, we talked about that on Oosp. <laughs> yeah. But here, these people are running around trying to kill a gargoyle, and no one got shot. And yeah, there were yeah. a lot of people with a lot of guns, let me tell you. Listen, one of these days, <laughs> these hunting trips are not going to go very well for somebody. <laughs> like, this, the gargoyle had the crest, and it had, like, the weird spindly arms. But now, it has wings. <laughs> so the Chupacabra <laughs> now has wings. The guy said, like, it, like, jumped off his roof and flew over his pool is you know above ground plastic pool <laughs> and and it went away 
after killing yeah. its his chickens. I was like, this go. this thing is evolving at record speeds, man. <laughs> <laughs> And imagine how quickly it flies across the globe. Yeah, I mean, Bushman really wouldn't have made it if his chupacabra had wings. <laughs> oh yeah, like luckily he found a baby chupacabra. It hadn't grown its wings yet. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, in like the 1990s was when like they started seeing chupacabras in like the US and Brazil and Colombia and Mexico, and even Russia. But the difference between the chupacabra of Puerto Rico and the chupacabra of like everywhere else is that in the US, Mexico, and all the rest of these places, they when they seen one, they describe it like a dog with mange. It's a four-legged creature, skinny uh, middle body, long nose. Yeah, I think that's the one that I have, that I remember the most from hearing about the chupacabra. I was like, I, I thought it was like a dog and something else. Maybe it was a bird or something. I can't remember, but I, I definitely remember hearing about like a dog in there. <laughs> so <laughs> to like, which I'm just like, it's a fucking coyote. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a coyote. So some lady found a dead creature on her property in Texas mm -hmm. and uh, she taxidermied it, which is one of the images over there. And uh, yes. She taxidermied it, and she said that's proof of the chupacabra in Texas, that it was killing her livestock. Can't look at the photos because otherwise Discord will freeze. Um, is it a dog, Avani? It, it is. <laughs> it's no, literally so actually, fucking... the caption says that this rancher Phyllis, whatever, insists this stuffed <laughs> specimen, which experts say is a coyote, is an authentic Texas chupacabra. Yeah, I left that shit in there. Phil was saw like, a coyote and was like, obviously this is. <laughs> this is the, I saw this coyote, but uh, it's chupacabra. That's a chupacabra. That Marans is a chupacabra. You know, I'm not surprised Phyllis from Texas <laughs> yeah. thinks it's a chupacabra. Uh, dear Texas, we're not surprised anymore. <laughs> In fact, we're ashamed. Please break off and secede from the union. <laughs> Florida, give us veil, and then you can go too. Yeah, right. <laughs> I probably won't be living in Florida for very long. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so like that's where the legend of the chupacabra ends with how when it moved to the other country, suddenly it was a four-legged creature. From being a two, like a biped, weird ass alien looking thing to being four legged dog thing. I'm just saying if you Google hairless coyote and you look at her picture, there's zero doubt. <laughs> yeah, like fucking for real. But I. There's no question. Like the I don't vampire, know. the <laughs> gargoyle, and the chupacabra <laughs> from Puerto Rico, like that's a cool, interesting story. Phyllis and her coyote, not an interesting story. I yeah, I mean, at least Puerto Rico got fucking creative. Yeah, I feel like Phyllis and, you know, the these other chupacabra sightings where it's a dog, um, I feel like that's just another form of cultural appropriation, because y'all... Like, <laughs> you stole a cryptid creature. from us, and then yeah. you fucked it up? Yeah, like, they were like, oh, Puerto Rico has a chupacabra, we gotta get one of those. And... <laughs> I would like you to know if you continue to scroll on the hairless coyote Google search, Phyllis's photo shows up. Really? Shut up! <laughs> Phyllis! <laughs> yeah, no. Uh... Well, there's also a Pinterest one where the caption says Chupacabra, aka hairless rabid coyote. <laughs> oh, people are stupid. Yeah. Oh my god. They, like, truly ruined the cryptid. Okay, yeah. What, sir? Yeah, no, I mean, I would like to know more about the uh, Puerto Rican version of the Chupacabra, because it sounds like an actual cryptid and not a hairless coyote. But everybody else, <laughs> you should probably just stay out of the Chupacabra game, because you're not, you're not winning it. <laughs> Yeah, that hairless coyote is not a um, riveting. It's not. Yeah. Uh, 
the it's Russian chupacabra <laughs> just looks like one of the mutant dogs from Chernobyl. It probably is. <laughs> it's like they really should have just wow. It really is just a dog yeah. with radiation. Yeah, yeah, isn't it? Oh, the chupacabra. No, it's from y'all's fuck up. <laughs> like I hate how they ruined my boy goat sucker. Yeah, yeah, right. We need to fight for the rights of goat sucker. <laughs> My boy, I, for, the goat sucker. Oos merch, team goat sucker. <laughs> team goat sucker. <laughs> but like, okay. So, Say hello, floofy boy. The Let's give you a little history lesson. The okay. US. I love the cat. The US <laughs> loves to fuck Puerto Rico without yeah. lube. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, we're they from, we have know. done quite a few testing on that island illegally. Oh, like, okay. Like uh, yeah. when they tested birth control. They tested it on the women of Puerto Rico without their knowledge. Yeah, that sounds that sounds on brand. Yeah, That's terrible. They were doing crazy medical testing. They were doing testing on... Okay, so Puerto Rico... Does not have and in- did not have indigenous monkeys. Puerto Rico now has indigenous monkeys because researchers from the U.S. brought their monkeys to do nasty ass mm-hmm. fucking researches on them, and the monkeys escaped. And, and now, now we have just- monkeys. Yep, they're just in Puerto Rico. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, like, one of the theories is. That it was like a botched experiment that they were like uh, fucking splicing creatures, which they were doing because yeah, they didn't give yeah. a fuck about our loss. I, you know what? I de- I didn't even fucking think about that, but you're you're one hundred percent right. That's probably what it was. Is some experiment that fucking got out. <laughs> like they were constantly doing some crazy ass experiments because laws don't apply to them anymore because it's the U.S. and Puerto Rico and they don't give a fuck. Well, I, and it's also, like, I would expect if the Chupacabra was, it's, I don't know, it's, at, at the end of the day, the Chupacabra is some sort a, of creature mammal thing. And creature mammal things want to reproduce. <laughs> So I feel like there would be more chupacabras <laughs> based on the fact that it's a creature and mammal thing. You know what I mean? Like, it just... And, like, the thing with that is we've already seen their track records with keeping their experiments by the fact there's a lot of monkeys now in Puerto Rico. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. no monkeys. Yeah, clearly, clearly. We have a, a shit ton of monkeys now. Top-tier experiment. Uh, security going on. <laughs> like, these motherfuckers just had, like, left the door open. Yeah, yeah. No, the problem is, is the monkeys were just smarter than the researchers. Also very possible. Also, also true. very possible. Yes, yes. So, like, the one of the, th- the, the theories is that it's, like, a, an experiment, which I wouldn't be surprised because they were doing, like, so I mentioned earlier El Junque, the big national rainforest. So, uh, yeah. That's mainly where shits escape. Because mm. you will never be found. If you go hiking in that rainforest and get lost, well, goodbye. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. No one will ever find you again. Yeah. Like when shit goes lost in that rainforest, it's like, well, we really missed it. <laughs> I actually wanted to ask you guys, since we're on uh, a, a topic close to this um let's say that the chupacabra is uh some kind of alien entity and not that was my next theory (laughs) well i wanted to ask how you guys feel about aliens (laughs) because i uh kind of i scoff at modern media with aliens but also, 
there's been a lot of uptick in 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 alien content recently because of government. <laughs> so I wanted to see how you guys feel about that in general. <laughs> I am ambivalent about aliens. I don't know. I don't feel like I don't feel like I feel like they're real. Yeah, but also <laughs> one of the theories is aliens and there's actually like reports um i don't actually have it with me right now but so the there's um three or four military base united states military bases on puerto rico one of them is yeah. the coast guard base so the coast guard base um captured in one of their um surveillance a object flying <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> y'all right there <laughs> <laughs> My throat got like really dry all of a sudden. Um, <laughs> object flying um, above the the beach and yeah. going into the ocean, coming out again and zipping away. Yeah, there's been um, the release of a few videos that seem to indicate that there are some unknown objects one lying of, around. <laughs> I'm pretty sure one of those videos that you saw was the one I'm talking about because it, it might like been, was it like really big news. Because was it was it a, the American Coast Guard. Was it a, like a spear, a spherical object? It was like a, like, like this, like a. Uh, tack, there, tack. There, there, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There was also one that they kept referring to as a tic tac. So I was gonna ask about that next. But um. <laughs> so like the <laughs> other thing about aliens is that Puerto Rico used to, uh, until it got destroyed, had the biggest radio telescope in the entire world. Mm. And it had gotten weird signals from space that yeah. they could not explain. Yeah. And so people were like theorizing like, oh shit, the fucking radio telescope picked up life on another planet, blah, blah, blah. But uh, it didn't really come what to anything. And the radio telescope yeah. <laughs> got destroyed during Maria. So uh, the I, hurricane. I am very in between. Like, I definitely think uh, it would be crazy to think we're the only planet in all the in all of space to have life do i think the media portrayals of it is correct no but, <laughs> but like maybe there are some out there i don't know but like <laughs> why are they here who knows we're fucking idiots i don't know why they would want to stop on this planet <laughs> Like, I agree with that. Like, with all of the planets and billions of fucking shit out in the universe, are we really that special? We're the only thing? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Do I no think way. they're coming down and doing dumb shit? Probably not. But if they were, <laughs> it would make sense. Because yeah. imagine how our scientists deal with creatures that are, like, they don't know. We dissect them, we take right. them from where they're from, and we yeah. do experiments on them. So if yeah. an alien did that to us, it makes sense. It could be yeah. alien scientists. I don't know. Yeah. I just I just don't know, you know, with all the with all the stories coming out, like, oh, this person worked for, you know, Area 51 and they're coming out with all of this stuff, and it's like mm, I live near they... Area 51. You what? I live next to Area 51. Did you see anything? Not a shit. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. <laughs> well, how do you feel about it, Devani? I'm on the same page. I there's no way we're the only people. Yeah, the only living creatures in every solar system out there. But also, who would look at this shit show and say, "Yeah, I want to be involved"? <laughs> right. At, at best, if. If aliens are a thing and they're like traveling around to other places, because they're without a doubt probably way smarter than us. If they, you know, like it's hard not to be. Yeah. Oh, I heard thunder. Sorry, I get excited about thunderstorms. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, the, the it, I I wouldn't be surprised if an alien came to Earth just to be like, all right. Let's take a few samples from this planet among the Let's 20 other billion planets around. we take. Yeah. <laughs> Just to see what's going on here. <laughs> you know, but like, I don't know. 
I mean, aliens. Have you guys heard of that story in the Northeast? I think it happened in the 70s. And it was like this huge deal. Um, And a bunch of people all across the Northeast saw it. Sorry, I'm trying to see if I can find it. Because that one I found mildly compelling because it was a bunch of people from a lot of different areas. Yeah, there's occasionally stuff that I do find compelling, but it's just not enough for me to be like, yeah, that was definitely 100% alien. Yeah. I actually think they talked about it on an episode of Unsolved Mysteries. Um, To relate this back to this episode, episodes topic uh chupacabra do i think it's an alien i don't think so because no (laughs) if it exists it's probably a scientific experiment gone wrong yeah 100 percent. especially first of all the dog version is definitely not an alien it's a dog (laughs) right it's a coyote is a coyote with mange come on yeah 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 clearly um but the uh, the sightings from within Puerto Rico, um, the claims, it just sounds like an amalgamation of animals. It sounds like a, a failed experiment or some radiation gone wrong. Like, you know? Radiation? So, of the <laughs> testing that the United States has done on Puerto Rico, they decided to bomb us. Yeah, Twice. of course. Yeah, right. Well, why, why, why wouldn't, wouldn't we, they? You know? Yeah. <laughs> so... They, uh, on one of, so, uh, Puerto Rico is an archipelago, which means a bunch of islands as one. Yeah. And one yeah. of the outlying islands was bombed to absolute shit because the United States was testing their, uh, their, their bombs. Yeah. <laughs> Another time, during a revolution, the United States bombed the entire town of, uh, I don't remember which town it was now. But anyway, which is not testing they actually just bombed their citizens and but since puerto ricans are less than american citizens no one gave a fuck so there's that too hate human beings do you yeah, guys ever think awful. about <laughs> i just what why How, d- why so when it comes to like radiation or weird shit that could also be like you never know one of the other like um uh theories is that it's a creature from el junque the rainforest that's just natural to that because well you no one can find anything there it's just fucking something else oh you found the <laughs> ufo oh in the 1990s yeah it was 1994 so i was one no I was- three i was three i was like i was one yeah (laughs) right (laughs) sorry math hard you know i think i did hear about this oh i think i i saw this it was the thing with all okay yeah 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 definitely saw this i actually saw like a um a dash cam of like cops chasing down the lights i that's that's not the only event i don't think um, where multiple people from multiple, like, areas have reported it, but I think that's the biggest one that I know of, at least, is how many people were involved with reporting it. Um, but, um, I was going someplace with that sentence, and, you know, now I'm not. All right, anybody else have anything to say? Uh, we discover new species all the time. It's totally possible it comes from the middle of that rainforest that nobody's ever gone into. True. I know, people have gone into, but it's just so big that you're not no, going to come out of. of. <laughs> I went yeah, to that rainforest right. once. Oh, well, I'm glad you're back. Yeah. <laughs> the good thing up doing shit that will get you killed. So there's actually like a trail on this rainforest that uh, we did not go down because we did not read the signs. <laughs> <laughs> The sign was this big. It was literally two fingers length of a sign that said, do not go down this other trail. The trail you need to go down is on the right side. 
You know, I feel like they probably should have made a better sign. <laughs> my aunt tried, so my aunt, like, taking the first steps down the trail, broke her ankle, and she tried oh. to sue them for having a sign this big. We actually were trying to get to some waterfall hot springs, so me, my two brothers, and my three cousins, and my grandma, and that's why I say my grandma is just fucking, just, yeah. she's healthy as shit. My grandma, and I don't remember, I think my dad. We were just running down the the rainforest to get to, to the waterfalls. So we left my aunt and I think my mom and my grandma behind and my dad and my cousins and everyone. We just we, we left and we went down into the rainforest and it was fucking amazing. Like it, that's one of the coolest experiences of my life. We could have died, but like we really shouldn't have been there. Yeah, like there yeah. Was, the sign was this big, and it said, "Do not go there." Yeah, it, maybe they should have added, you know, a bigger sign that said "Possible Death This Way." Like I don't know. <laughs> but like we made it to one of the many waterfalls, and we we're sitting there like waiting in the water, and then like my dad runs down real quick. Your aunt broke her leg taking two steps down into the trail. We have to go oh. back up, and we we're like, we have been hiking for an hour, and you want us to run back up the mountain? <laughs> Oh gosh. Yeah, no. Um <laughs> no. But it's no. An, it's a massive rainforest and they, like every few years they they find a new species of orchid in that rainforest. They're like we've never had this one before. Let's put it in the also, box. Since there were bombings in the area, uh does any do any scientists go down and, and, you know, use a Geiger counter to figure out how much radiation is affecting the environment. I like, have no idea. <laughs> like, because uh, clearly, <laughs> clearly radiation can fuck some shit up, so... <laughs> the radiation caused the Chupacabra. It might have. It might have. Uh, yeah. It might have. I mean, look what, radi- you know, look what radiation did in Japan. Oh yeah. my god, all that sea life that, like, fucking mutated. Yeah, again, radiation is, uh, pretty fucking We're awful. the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, my poor colonized island has been shit on. We're sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. So the last three theories are that it could be a dog. Yeah, yeah, definitely the one here is a dog. The one over there, but like, they think that the one in Puerto Rico is a dog, and I was like, when have you seen a dog kill a chicken, leave it perfectly intact, and drink its blood? I've seen a dog kill a chicken, a husky. Yeah. And that ain't a pretty sight. Yeah, no, dog- Yeah, I think dog is unlikely. Yeah. The other one is snakes. Here's the thing about snakes. <laughs> snakes swallow and digest. They also, also don't fucking. They also yeah. leave four punctures. Yeah, and they I have... also don't. I don't think even a vampire snake would be able to almost drain an entire cow. I a don't. Full size. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's possible. Like I can understand a little piglet. But a right. whole ass cow. Yeah. 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 So snakes is a no. Dogs are a no. Aliens are a maybe. <laughs> Scientific Vampires experiment. are possible. <laughs> Science experiment is looking really good yeah, right that's now. <laughs> really, that's really the winner. <laughs> Undiscovered species is also possible. Undiscovered good. species, but I don't think it looks like that. What if it's a science experiment that underwent radiation? What if it... <laughs> it could you be know? a combination of all the theories, honestly. <laughs> yeah, right? True. True that. It's it's what they call an amalgamation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, this thing, like, maybe there's a thing, but I don't think it looks like what the people are saying it looks like. I mean, so is there a way... I mean, I know there's a way medically to exsanguinate somebody. Yes. So, I mean, technically, 
you could just exsanguinate your farm animals to collect on insurance money. You could, and people would do it. <laughs> you That's could a lot have of a beef. farm animals. You could have a beef with another farmer and exsanguinate their animals as revenge. That is like, also a good theory. Another thing about this is that the technological advancements of a Puerto Rican in 1975 was not as much as you think it is. All you need is a vacuum, right? And a tube. <laughs> I mean, really, you just- are walking down the streets with lanterns. We don't have flashlights. I'm gonna mm-hmm. put that out there. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, but you guys have vacuums, right? <laughs> I don't know what they had in whatever year that was. That the I guy mean, was I'm throwing sure, rocks. I'm sure you had a syringe and a uh, IV tube and a bucket. I'm sure that a bucket it could it happen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm just saying. I think there's like beyond the the crazy idea of scientific experiment gone wrong that feels like a sci-fi movie. There's super like logical reasons. You could find something exsanguinated. It could have been a serial killer in training. Did Puerto Rico ever have a serial killer that exsanguinated humans? Oh. I don't think we've had a serial killer. Oh. Yeah, because they're not as crazy as us. So... <laughs> oh, but wait. Hold on. If that one of go. us <laughs> went over there... Yeah. Yes. ...and then came back... And then we all did something... Yeah. There's definitely been plenty of white people trying to be vampires, so... I'm just, I'm just saying, like... I would say in, too many, actually. <laughs> Sorry. There's just, there's a possibility that somebody just figured out how to do it. I think, like, I would agree with you if it wasn't that these places were very far away from each other, and that was a lot of animals. Like, you really gonna exsanguinate, like, 500 animals... And, uh, sure. like, from one side of the island, it takes, like, five hours to get to the other place just to, to kill it their wasn't in cows. One night, right? It was, like, throughout a few days, like, a few weeks went by. Yeah, so, I mean, it's plausible. <laughs> like, years. There's some of those sightings it, years apart. Well, it was, like, a few right. weeks, and, like, then a few months, and then no one heard anything for a while. Then years later, it came back again. See, That's why like, there killer. were three different, like... <laughs> I'm, no, but think about it. Serial yeah, killers, yeah, they do trucker. shit, the heat, the heat gets on, they get out of town, they come back. Like, was, do, I, <laughs> do I watch too much true crime? Probably. <laughs> My theory, serial killer in training. Thank you so much for listening. If you liked what you heard and want to hang out with us some more, be sure to check out our page where you can find links to our other shows and projects. Bye! <laughs> I'm keeping all the I don't know why here. I had to do that. <laughs> no one is watching! <laughs> Alright, y'all. Alright. Uh, stop.